Here's the core concepts behind self-cleaning aquariums which run with no filter, no CO2, no liquid fertilizers and minimal maintenance. So let's start with the big one which is water changes. Most people do water changes to reduce nitrate buildup in the tank, but in a self-cleaning tank, fast-grown plants absorb ammonium directly from the water column. This passively reduces ammonia, nitrite and nitrate levels. Once ammonium runs out, those same plants switch to using nitrate as their nitrogen source, helping to maintain nitrate levels which are low and don't require water changes to manage. Moving on to TDS buildup as some people do water changes to manage that too. Fast-grown plants absorb minerals, ions and nutrients directly from the water column helping to keep your TDS levels stable and mine usually hovers around 150 to 250 depending on the specific tank. So instead of constant water changes you can top off water loss or evaporation without worry. These tanks don't require a filter either so there's no filter maintenance to do. In these tanks plants do the heavy lifting when it comes to biological filtration, managing nitrogen and TDS levels while boosting oxygen levels levels and also reducing the oxygen demand for typical filter bacteria. Plus, biofilm on plant surfaces trap particles in the water which will then be eaten by shrimp, snails and waste-eating bacteria, offering a small amount of mechanical filtration too. I never gravel vac my tanks because waste-eating bacteria break down fish waste, uneaten food and decaying leaves, converting them into natural sources of CO2 and other plant nutrients, removing the need for liquid fertiliser. It takes a few months for these bacteria colonies to establish themselves, but after that your substrate stays clean on its own. Algae is not a big issue either because fast-grown plants outcompete algae for nutrients so in a balanced tank you rarely have to scrape your tank glass. Any algae that does appear gets eaten by shrimp and snails and their waste goes right back into the nutrient cycle for the plants to keep everything going. Biofilm on the surface is a tricky one especially if you overfeed like myself. But in a balanced system there are bacteria which consume lipids, sugars and proteins helping to keep it under control or potentially prevent biofilm buildup completely. Now there are some maintenance requirements and once your tank's established after two or three months your regular tasks will be feeding the tank, trimming the plants and topping off water that's evaporated. You may have to do a partial water change once or twice per year to count a tannin buildup, but that's it. If you want a full breakdown with sources and examples, check out my full article on my website on this URL. 